Hi, it's Kat, how are you? So today we have another pick a card and today's pick a card is all about the things that you are currently manifesting. What is about to enter your life? So if you want to find out, choose a card or a crystal. We have card one with master stone, card two with orange calcite and card three with dendritic Opal. So when you have made your decision, go down to the description box to find your timestamp. I will give you a few seconds to decide, and when you're ready, I will see you at your reading. Ready? Let's go. Hello, my beautiful pile number one. So you chose the Master Stone. And number 40, orange calcite. Pause if you need to watch the cards a little closer. I have been requested to um, have my camera a little bit closer so it's easy to see the cards, but that's not quite possible for me. So instead, if you want to take a look at the cards more closely, pause when I show them to you on the camera so then that kind of probably helps you a little bit more um yeah so okay <laughs> um this is really beautiful energy this is kind of the um I can't even tell you how I feel. I mean, it's so I'm so happy. I'm filled with joy and excite and excitement and creativity. It's almost like my cups are overflowing with gratitude and endless possibilities and beautiful. Oh my god, dude! It's just started to snow outside. I mean, yeah, it's October, um, but I live in Finland. So yeah, um, yeah, this would be our first snow and it was right on your pile. So <laughs> that's kind of fantastic. I don't know if you like snow. Um, I don't know if I'm a huge fan or not. I mean, well, I guess, but it's not super special to me since, well, I live in Finland. Anyway, moving on. Um, your energy feels like it's full of firsts like you will be trying a lot of new things and it's exciting and it, it makes you happy and it it sort of fills you with this great energy and joy and excitement <laughs> i've said all those words before but <laughs> really but then there's also this what i feel is happening for you is that you will be more, you will connect with your divine feminine and it doesn't matter what your, um, which one is it? I always, I mean, it doesn't matter which, is it gender or sex? Because I keep forgetting which one was the, um, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's just not pause that. I mean, uh, it doesn't depend on gender. We all have our divine feminine and divine masculine. And then it's sort of like, it's not always balanced in all of us. So one might be overly in their masculine energy, even if they identify themselves as females. And then there might be uh, people who ident identify themselves as males and they have they are very connected to their divine feminine. So what is happening for you is that, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting giggles because I'm eight years old um, in mentally and um, <laughs> I'm getting a lot of, <laughs> a lot of adult messages, should I say. Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say certain words, but it could be that you are experimenting with your um, 
sexuality doesn't have to be with people it could be on your own that is the safest way anyway and yeah it's good it's good for us so I feel like you will be tapping into your divine divine feminine and you will be exploring enjoyment in many different departments <laughs> and it's not just it's not just about sex though it's not just about sex it's about it's about sensuality you feel sensual and you can sensual doesn't mean sexual i don't people often mistake those two words like they they um, think that they are the same but sensual is when you experience things with your senses like taste hear uh, hearing seeing feeling when you feel for example when you taste something like a dessert that is absolutely divine and you just savor it and you feel it and you're like mm, what a beautiful combination i love this very much there is this exploring life kind of season that is coming your way um <laughs> and it feels absolutely incredible this could be for some of you because i just heard i think this is a message i have given someone before so because i heard the zelina gomez the i'll be single soon <laughs> So this could be that you're kind of experimenting life as a as someone who has just become single or it could be just that you are on a self-love journey and you are finding <laughs> love and peace and enjoyment being being alone it could be for some of you, I do see that there might be a partner that you might be experiencing things with, but that is not the point. That is not the point here. The point is to feel incredible, feeling yourself, and experiencing things on your own, with your own body, with your own senses. It's not... All of those things are not something you can share so if there is someone who can experience things with you that's probably because they were there all along like maybe you are in a relationship and you experience things together or something similar but i do feel like for the majority of you this is a journey that you are experiencing on your own so Let's get some more cards before I just babble the, the entire <laughs> entire video just based on one card. We have kinship. Ooh, community. Your group. Sorry guys, there was a little interruption and um, I realized also that I showed the card a little bit too fast so I'm just gonna hold it on the camera a little bit longer so you can take a look um, but yeah um, as it turns out actually uh, this is a journey that you are on your own but you have been manifesting people in your life haven't you you have been um, waiting for your own group your your tribe to come in and that is something that you've been manifesting people who love you and understand you and who have the same outlook on life same values and and things like that who love the same things I feel like actually that you might be experiencing some of these things with this tribe that is coming in and um, yeah yeah that that is something that is happening for you um, it could be that 
if you haven't met your soulmate yet, it could be that this is where you find them because I'm I'm getting some of those vibes here, but it's it's almost like you're still really um, focused on your own journey. And actually that, okay, <laughs> I just realized this. Um, that is actually how you find these people. This is how you're manifesting them. You're having fun on your own. You're having fun on your own the way that you would be having fun with this tribe that would eventually come into you. That is how you are manifesting them. If you're not doing that yet, that is something that you should be doing. Um, because that will definitely speed things up. It's kind of like if you're trying to manifest a... This is an example. If you're trying to manifest your the love of your life to come into your life, you need to start loving yourself. You need to start showing love to yourself. The kind of love that you expect to receive from this um, future partner, soulmate, whoever. So this is the same thing with a tribe that you are manifesting. Have fun on your own. Do the things that you would love to do with them. If you would love to go to the movies, go to the movies alone. I don't know what's wrong. With, like, wh why is that so weird? I go to the movies all the time. Anyway, um, or or to a dinner. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's really great. I, what else do people do with friends? Maybe you can tell I don't have many. <laughs> um, just hang out, I guess? I'm not quite sure. Be also, because it really depends on, on you guys. But I do feel like these people that you will be... Um, I don't want to say bump into, but kind of... Um, I also... Oh, this is a message for some of you. You may actually live with them somehow. It could be that perhaps you're getting a new neighbor or a new roommate and they they kind of introduce you to your to their friends who turn out to be your tribe. It could be that something like this uh, will happen. My cards are in the wrong order again. It's fine. Ooh, enlightenment, moving forward. So I feel like in the past, you have been very... Um, I can't find the word, but worried, scared. Scared to do things alone. Maybe you've been worried about what other people might think if they... If they see you eating alone at the cafeteria or something. Or, um, there is a fear surrounding this whole thing that you are leaving behind. And this is actually what leads you to these people as well. And I feel like you may have suffered uh, from some form of depression or anxiety and um, this is actually something that is leaving your body but I feel like that is something that you will it's not because of these people that come into your life like that is for certain like this is something that you heal within yourself you heal this anxiety within yourself and and then these people come, if that makes sense. Like it's not, these people are not going to heal you. If, you're, if you feel depressed or if you have a lot of anxiety or you're really worried, don't manifest these people, your tribe to come in to heal you. You need to heal yourself first and then they will, they will come to support your healing but it has to happen first you know but I feel like this is something that you're doing um, I do feel like you are you will be diving into your spirituality a little bit more 
Um, uh, and I feel like there's something that you find there. Maybe a quote or an actual... Oh! oh my god. Okay, there's another card behind it, but... Uh, <laughs> we have the three of water. Celebration, community, friendships. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this for you. Yeah, there is a definitely a tribe coming for you. Absolutely. I actually just saw, I just saw the Sweet Magnolias. It's a TV series. Um, I kind of love it. <laughs> it's, it's so light hearted, but also really interesting. And what I really love about it is that the people in it, they aren't super toxic. Like when they make mistakes and they have some toxicity, they own up to it and they grow. And I love to see that because often in TV, um, they kind of like feed on that toxicity. And I don't, I'm not a fan of that, but the Sweet Magnolias, I'm sorry, I'm giving you a review on a TV series that you probably don't even care about, but you know. This is what my readings are like, so <laughs> anyway. Um, I think you might want to watch that for some reason. I don't, if you mm, try, give it a try. You also had the Queen of Air in reverse. Brilliant, experienced, and humorous. Yeah, okay, got it. So what is happening for you? The Queen of Air, she is very logical, very often um, oft, it's often said that she is very cold, very rational, very unempathetic. Um, but what I feel is that she's not. You're just not in her circle you don't she's not close with you like I, yeah i don't know um but what i feel here with the queen of air in reverse is that i feel like you have been very uh, hard on yourself you've been very um Kind of like, it's almost like you have been your own worst enemy. Like, you always picked on yourself. Maybe you picked apart the way you looked or behaved or everything. And maybe you were always trying to fit in with other people, but they were never your people. So... When you tried to fit in, you had to change the way you were, change who you are and how you behaved and maybe what you liked and what you disliked and all that stuff. And that was never meant for you. That was never... It's almost like I, I see like there's this kind of like an ugly duckling feeling here. Like, trying to, trying to fit into a group that you were never meant to be a part of anyway. And I feel like you're letting go of that. You are letting go of all of those. You'll be changing your mindset completely. This is like a complete... like a 180, complete 180, like you're, you will completely turn out, <laughs> turn out, no, you will just, you're just kind of like changing your limiting beliefs, all the ugly things that you have ever felt about yourself, you will be letting all of those go because they're not meant for you, they're not meant for you at all. 
because I do feel like the Queen of Air, they can be, especially in reverse, like at worst, Queen of Air can be someone who judges and criticizes. And I feel like this is who you have been and this is something that you're letting go of so that you can emerge as a beautiful swan that you are always meant to be. Okay, so we have the other card. We have a Knight of Earth in reverse, organized, responsible, and supportive. Okay, so here is what I feel like uh, has happened to you a lot. Um, as you can see with the Knight of Earth, is she's like holding on to that. Oh, crap, I keep forgetting that I need to show the cards. Yeah, this is something I have to learn, but I will. Um, so Knight of Earth, can you, you can see how she's holding on to the coin like really really hard like gripping it like this is this is mine I need to keep this safe and I feel like you have been holding on too hard on things that were never meant to be yours to begin with they were never meant to be yours and you just kept holding on and holding on and holding on and and eventually like your hands, your knuckles will turn white for holding on so hard but because it was never meant to be yours it will be taken away from you and I feel like this is something that you're finally understanding especially when you enter this because I feel like, like I see a you know like the light at the end of the tunnel you always visualize like uh, the light being like really far away like well at least that is how i usually visualize it like it's really far away but this time i feel like i am just stepping out of the tunnel and i'm being completely blinded by the it, it, the light is kind of like yellowish and i feel like i'm i'm stepping into this beach this beautiful beach with a beautiful sunrise and it's it's painting everything in gold and i love that for you it's it's kind of like when you finally let go of the things that were never meant to be yours you can finally enter your new life and have all the things that are meant to be yours because I feel like you've um, you've thought that if you let go of those things then you will have nothing like you will be left with nothing no 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 that that couldn't be further from the truth if you let go of the things that are not meant for you you will gain everything because you will have space you will have more space like, like it's always said, like if you want to bring something new in, if you want a new couch, you need to get rid of the old couch first because there will be no room for two couches. You need to let the old one go. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yes, of course. So a lot of cards came out, but at the top was the sun so we're taking that we are taking that because oh, it's almost like oh my god this this leaf keeps running away all the time um yeah okay oh i oh yeah i was supposed to show it <laughs> i'm learning i'm learning guys so um with the sun at the end of the reading is something so beautiful. It, it ties everything together. And it says success, recognition, enthusiasm. So what I feel is happening here, after you get out of this tunnel, after you let go of the things that were not meant for you, you get on this journey, you get on this train. This is how I'm visualizing it. You're getting on this train. You're not taking anything with you. You you don't have any luggage at all. You just have the clothes on you. And you get in there. And in each department, I'd say departments because I don't know the actual word for them. Um, 
there are these exciting things, these exciting new things, things that you always wanted to do, but you never did because you were scared. And in each department, you get to experience these new things alone, yes, but that's sort of the fun in it because it's what's fun for you. <laughs> okay, how do I explain this? So we, all the people have like different interests and stuff. And for example, let me take an example of my own world. So I don't like shopping with people at all. I avoid it greatly because I, I always get stuck in the stores and I, it could be that I actually spend two hours in one store because I, I keep Googling like, is this company ethical or is this cruelty free or not? Like I, I spend a lot of time in there and I can't take it if there's someone in there with me who is like, because I can feel people's emotions really, 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 like they were my own. I can feel their frustration, but I, and I always, I always end up not buying anything because I don't have the time to decide what I want to buy. And I don't like that. I would rather go alone and spend four hours in a shop if I want to, so that I can explore my interests thoroughly. So I feel like this is also something that is happening for you. I know that it can't be scary to do things alone, but also it is so freeing. It is incredibly freeing. I love doing things alone. It's, it's, they're actually, I, I take myself out on dates a lot, like a lot, lot. Like I just went on a self-care date um, the other day and it was beautiful. I went to the movies and then I went shopping and then I went to a coffee shop to read my book and journal and it was just a magical day. So I feel like this is this is something that you could start with. Like take yourself out on a date. Buy yourself something small, something nice that makes you happy, that reminds you of your new life basically, <laughs> or reminds you of you, that's, that can even be it. Buy yourself a nice crystal or something. Anyway, um, your life is turning out so good. So let's do a little recap here. So what is happening for you is that you will be enter, you will be entering a life where you're not, you're not afraid to be yourself. You will experience things to the fullest and often alone. Like you will be enjoying time on your own. You will be exploring all the things that you love. There is also almost this kind of like a, like somebody being freed from a cage, even though they had grown fond of the cage and they finally have courage to get out and sniff around and find new things. Um, that is something that is happening to you. Like you are letting go of the cage that you had grown in, that you were so fond of, but remind yourself that it was in fact a cage. And now we're done with it. And after that, quite soon actually, for the most majority of you, you will be finding your group, you will be finding your tribe, your true friends, people who have the same interests, who support you in everything that you want to do, and you support them in return. You have all the same interests, you love spending time together. I see that you will actually be bridesmaids in each other's weddings and stuff, and you will be just like, um, well, like this sweet magnolias, that is what I see. Um, and you will be letting go of your self-critique, your tendency to hold on to things that were not yours. You will be able to let things go. You, oh, this is actually a also a message that I got for you. You can practice this letting go thing by decluttering. Um, try the... KonMari me method or something, 
um, then it might be like easier for you to get used to the idea of letting go of things if they are physical things rather than um, emotional things because they are usually <laughs> the hardest part. Also you can try to find some eternal prompts that will help you let go of your limiting beliefs. But now it's time for the final card and with this deck we will get some um, like final piece of advice, some sort of affirmation or something, anything that will help you in your current circumstance. So wherever you are currently, this is advice or reassurance or well, just something, just something to help you on your way. Oh, okay, okay, and there we got it. Okay, cool. Awesome. We have seven of spring. Oh, okay. Be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself. Mm hmm. I love that for you. Stand up for yourself. Ooh. Oh, is this Queen of Air actually someone in your life? Like maybe this critique. I do feel like some of it is internal, but it could be that it actually has an external source. So that might be something that you need to take care of. Stand up for yourself. Um, yeah, I will give this one piece of advice, actually. I, w I wasn't gonna because we're out of time, but I'm gonna. Um, if there is somebody in your life currently who is putting you down constantly, um, the problem with it is that we may not actually fully believe in it. Um, but when we are being told over and over again who we are, who they think we are, what they think we look or something, we start to believe them. But it's not true. It's them reflecting on you. They see something that they actually dislike about themselves. So let's say, for example, somebody tells you that you're stupid. It could be that they are actually really afraid that people will find out that they're not very smart themselves. Or if somebody is picking apart the way you look, that immediately tells me that they are very insecure about their looks. So think about what they are saying to you and realize that they're actually talking in the mirror. You are the mirror. And they, they are just talking to themselves. And you can tell them this. You can tell them this because it is the truth. It is the truth. So um, maybe that helps, maybe it doesn't. Um, but that is what I'm gonna leave you with. So, hmm. This is what I had for you, and I really hope you enjoyed. If this resonated with you, I would love to know. My favorite thing is to read your comments. So yeah, uh, do that if you feel like it. And um, yeah, I hope I see you in my next one. Bye. Hello, my beautiful partner for two. I was just speaking to the camera. This is Orange Calzad, by the way. I was just speaking to the camera for like two minutes, and then I realized camera isn't even recording so <laughs> this is my second try no third try because my cats intervened last time but yeah okay so let's get to your actual reading we have spirits uh, spirit quartz number 54 and i it has been requested that i um move my camera a little bit closer to the cart so you could see them better but that's not entirely physically possible to me. So what I'm going to do instead is that I'm going to show the cards in the camera for a little bit longer. And if you need to pause, you can pause if you want to take a even longer look. But I'm going to try to remember this. I had some trouble in the first pile, but I, I will get the hang of it sooner or later. So what I get with your card is that you have been helping people in your community um, all the time. You are this big helper. 
Like everybody always turns to you when they need help. And I feel like you're actually getting some of that um, repaid to you. And this is another weird message. But the message is that there are love in many forms. And there is something coming for you. Something or someone that you will love. But it might not be romantic love, per se. And this could be reconnecting with an old friend or like a childhood friend, like someone you used to love and then something happened. I also see that for some of you this could be a pet, that you'll be getting a pet that you will absolutely love, like, <laughs> or, you know, reconnecting with, with someone else or getting a new best friend or just a friend or a new roommate or something. I also feel like some of you may have been connected to pile number one. So if you were drawn to pile number one, you were kind of like, which one will I take? One or two? Uh, this is your sign that you probably should go in the pile one. Uh, not like, I mean, you know, go there after this reading, obviously. Um, but yeah, that was just for those who were drawn to pile number one. Because there are some similarities here. But the thing with the spirit quartz here is that it feels like there are a lot of different things happening for you. But the overall feeling in this card is this feeling of content, feeling of being loved. And I feel like you may have been wondering like, if the people around you truly appreciate you, truly love you, or if you're just someone who always is there to help. Because I feel like this has been the case in, um, in your past. Like, basically, people would only ask you to come around if they needed something from you. Um, and that has been very hurtful. I have some experience that in that as well, and it's it's very painful. And I feel like you have been wondering for a little bit, like, is this, like, am I truly loved here, or am I just convenient for people? And I do feel like you will actually be so shown whether you are or are not. And I'm leaning on, yes, you are definitely loved. But if the case is no, in in in, if if it's a no in your case, then what you will be manifesting is is love, not romantic love, some sort of other kind of love, like love from a pet, love from a friend, love from a, a family member. But let's get more into this because there are a lot of confusion in here happening. It could be just because there are a lot of people a lot of different people in a lot of different circumstances but let's see how you all come together then, because there is a reason why you are here even if you are in different um, situations in life oh okay attachment longing and desperation <clears throat> so this is actually something very similar to pile number one if this resonates with you then definitely go check out the pile number one um, this card represents, there's this sort of like, the more desperate you are, the more you're trying to get something, the harder you're gonna get stuck, basically. Like, like what is it called? Quicksand. The more you struggle, the deeper you're gonna fall. So there is this sort of feeling. I feel like you may have been very attached and I feel like this has been mostly for love. Like you have wanted to feel love and appreciated and you've been longing for this feeling. You've, you've wanted this feeling. You've wanted to feel loved and appreciated. But um, there's this sort of attachment here. It's almost like, okay. So this might trigger some people now, okay, and um, sorry if 
it does, but it's mostly, in most cases, it's true. I feel like you are a people pleaser, and you may think that is cool and okay, but it's not. It's actually not as selfless as people want to think. I'm an ex people pleaser and this was absolutely the case <laughs> absolutely the case in my situation like definitely so if you if if you resonate with this know that you're not alone in this um but yeah okay so here it goes people pleasing is a form of manipulation are you mad yet <laughs> i'm sorry if you are um but let me explain when we people please, we often help people around. We we give them things that they need. We help them, and and maybe we show them love in different ways. We buy them gifts. We buy them lunch or drinks, or or then we just say a lot of things. It really depends on our love language. Basically, the kind of love that we want to receive. This is what we give out. So, if your love language is receiving, um, or what is it, Sir, um, acts of service, that's it, uh, then this is something that you will be give, giving to the other person, and this is something that, that you will be expecting. And yes, that's the trick here, because even if you don't physically say this for that, that is something that you emotionally expect. You expect them to at least somehow give it back to you. Like let's say you always drive people around um, and you don't ask for gas. Uh, but then when your friend who you've been driving around a long, for a lot of... For a lot. <laughs> a lot um then he asks you for gas money um and you're like huh well haven't you been driving in my car for like months and i haven't asked you for any gas money um there is this expectation there is this it's not said but on your part it's expected that if you do something nice, you will get something nice in return. And that is how people-pleasing is manipulation, because you are, it's not selfless, you are expecting something in return. At least something, like at least be nice to me, for example. There is something that you are expecting in return. And this is actually... the thing that is kind of that this is the bullet that you have been that you shot yourself in the leg with because this is making you really attached because you keep doing these nice things and and over and over again to people who don't repay you and you get more and more attached It, it's it's literally like you're tangled in the web because you want something in return you want this you want this appreciation i have a this is really weird but for example it could be that you're just expecting a thank you this is really funny i don't know if my sister is watching this but my sister never says thank you it's really really weird i say thank you like in every other sentence she never says thanks for anything she's just like hmm and it weirds me out i don't know maybe you are daily with people like this but um you need to change your approach here is what i'm saying you need to change your approach and this is how you can receive this love that you've been manifesting because what you're doing now is not working so if you got through all this and you're still listening great awesome let's fix it now 
um, you really need to get over it. People pleasing is not tact. It's not a tactic that works anymore. It's not working anymore. Also, it has a bit of a boundary issue. Like you're not, you don't have a lot of boundaries when you're people pleasing, and you're kind of often end up pouring from a minty cup, and that's not fun. Ah. Mm. We have transformation. Define yourself. Defining yourself. Awesome. Mm. But also what I feel with this card, this is more like a, let me reintroduce myself. This is what I'm getting from this card. Like, let me, you haven't met me in a couple of days. Let me in reintroduce myself. That is what I feel. You will be going through a whole transformation. You will be setting up some boundaries. I just saw from my other deck, the Earth Wisdom Oracle, I just saw the um, boundaries card that has actually popped up for a lot of people in a lot of readings. So I don't know, maybe you are one of them that it has popped up for. But yeah, what this manifestation requires is transformation, boundaries, um, putting an end to being a people pleaser. It's not serving you anymore. It's not, it's not working. You're not getting what you want from it. Ah, oh, okay, so we have the lovers, cool. Relationships, emotions, and choices. So, so this is actually something that is incredibly going to help you with in your relationships, in your friendships as well, and in your family. Because the thing with people pleasers often is as well, is that we don't always say what we need. We just hope that they get the message, you know? And I feel like this is something also that is going to change. You're going to reintroduce yourself. You're going to change and reintroduce yourself as somebody who has boundaries and somebody who asks if they need something. Because I feel like you haven't asked a lot of things from people. And I feel like this is something that has bothered you for a while. Because you feel like you're not asking much. You do all of these things for people and you're not asking much and you're still not getting it. It's probably because you're not quite asking. Yes, they should probably figure that out, but you haven't, you haven't expressed that need and they're not, they're not mind readers. Yes, it would have been polite to, um, you know, repay in some way but let's face it let me ask you this has somebody ever asked you like okay what how can i repay you and you feel like, oh no that's nothing oh no it's fine don't worry about it mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. it could be that they take it as oh okay cool thanks for this free act of service that you have just given me. That is just what happens. So what you need is boundaries and expressing your needs. This is what I need from you. And this is what I wish that you would do for me. It's not nagging because I feel like you might fear that you will be nagging because uh, Perhaps you have, okay, so perhaps you have expressed your needs, but it has come out as nagging. Um, it's not nagging if you say it once and then you expect it to be fulfilled and if it's not, there will be consequences. Then it's just, you know, actions versus consequences. It's not nagging anymore. You said your piece, and then there's consequences for not respecting your boundaries or or filling your needs, like these needs that 
need to be f fulfilled by someone like having respect for or let's say you okay this is, okay fine whatever okay so let's say that you cook a meal let's say you always cook you enjoy cooking and you cook for your partner and maybe lately there has been less of thank yous and more like you know i don't like this why do you keep cooking this i you know i don't like it that would make my piss boil honestly but um that's fine <laughs> a little you know a drop of acid doesn't make the whole drink poisonous it just makes it a little crispy <laughs> so kind of like you know there's phosphorus added acid in in you know sodas and stuff anyway so don't worry about it as it is not all that bad <laughs> so <laughs> i don't know maybe this is toxic but my what i would do <laughs> is that cool awesome i guess you're making your own dinner then Because, you know, like, if they don't appreciate you, why do you keep doing it? There's no need. You're taking time out, out of your day to make someone happy, and they're not happy. In fact, they are very unhappy because you don't do it the way they would, you would, they would, <laughs> the way they would prefer, you know? Like, you need to start doing something. There is doormats have no life okay so let's see yeah i just feel like you just need to be more vocal you just need to step up i know it's hard. oh my god i know it's hard i know it's so hard but it's gotta be done because do you expect to live this way for the rest of your life i hope not and let me tell you something. This is how. So the things that. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Love that for you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 okay, so. <laughs> we have two cards. One is the Queen of Earth, and the other one, Empress. Oh, oh my god. So let's talk about this Queen of Earth first. Gracious, practical, capable. This is who you are. This is who you are deep down. But I feel like somebody has made you forget that. And how dare they? How fucking dare they? We are done with that crap. Then we have the Empress. Creation, abundance, action. And here we have another heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need to step into your queen energy. Take control over your life. There is no more stepping over you. No more of that. And this is how you get your manifestation. The ma you're manifesting love. You're manifesting your acts of service being returned to you. Your love language being mirrored to you. This is how you get it. By stepping into your own queen energy. Voicing your needs. Setting up boundaries. Because we don't want this anymore. We don't want we don't want to be in this trap anymore, in this attachment trap where you're tangled in, in a spider web. It's it's not for us anymore. No, we don't want that. It we're done. We're done with that. And it could be because I just saw this. I've always said, you know, like there is a bridge that is too narrow. And only one can get over to the other side. And I heard someone say, like, the same 
um, picture, but it was a door. Like the door is too small for <laughs> for two people. Like it can only be one. So it could be some of you are gonna have to let go of these people who do not accept this change. But you have to understand. You're now expecting payment for things that used to be free. So it could be that some of them feel like, okay, well, this is not worth it anymore. I'm going to find somebody else who's free. And they probably will. Until they find that they are quite lonely. Eventually. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, well, mm, okay, fine, sure. Um, we got one extra card. <laughs> Fucking hell. We have Ace of Earth. Inspiration, communication, adjustments. So this is... Hmm. Let me think for a moment. It's almost like this kid, he's like dragging this sword behind. He's kind of like depressed or like looking down. He's like thinking like, am I really going to do this? Am I really going to go ahead and express my needs? Am I really going to do this? But he keeps walking on anyway and dragging that sword behind. That's you. That's you. You're doing that. I know it's going to be hard and you're going to be like, oof. Am I really going to do this? I've never done anything like this before. Well, first time for everything. <laughs> you need this. You need this, let me tell you. You need this. You also have night of water. <laughs> Sexy, romantic, emotional, dramatic. So here is what I'm seeing you for seeing for you in this card. So those of you who have to leave a partner. Oh my god. I just There is this TikTok. There is this TikTok of maybe you know this. I don't know these people. I don't follow them, but I, but this is what I got from the comments. So there is this TikTok where a man is lying on the couch and he's uh, filming her, his wife in the kitchen. And he is like, I feel like you could have been nicer to me. And the wife is like, oh my God. And she's like, I am being nice to you. Like I have been nice. I have cooked the meal, I have done everything, I have done your laundry, I have folded your laundry, I have cleaned the bathroom and the bedroom and then I came into the kitchen and nothing is done. And so I start cleaning the kitchen and start making dinner and I start making a lunch and I start making this. I thought I am being very nice. And it just goes on and on. There is a lot more in there, but she's like then she ends it with and i thought i was pretty nice last night too <laughs> oh well <laughs> anyway what i gathered from the um comments is that that is actually an old video and the woman is actually now divorced and very very happy <laughs> very happy um anyway you may have seen that you may have not but anyways that is something that i see for some of you that you will be putting up these boundaries and you will actually not all of the people can come with you but look at this who's coming night of water romantic emotional dramatic see you may have felt for a long time that you're not exactly desirable which is completely false and I feel like this person is going to remind you of that they are going to remind you how lovable and desirable and amazing you really are and then there are some of you who actually have partners and family members and friends who get 
this need of boundaries where like oh cool okay that's fine I can totally obey like I can totally go with these boundaries they are completely reasonable I love this for you I'm glad that you finally did this for yourself and they get this and they get that and they're like like maybe there's partner like okay like you're clearly burnt out like why don't I take care of the dinner for for a while now and you can just focus on yourself like I I have the time I can do that for you and we can figure out other ways that will make you feel a little bit less burdened like this is this is something that I see for some of you but you will know which one fits your situation better for some of you all the people cannot come with you. They are the people who find your boundaries, your reasonable boundary, boundary is completely unreasonable because suddenly they have to pay for something that was that used to be free. Um, so, yeah, I do see <laughs> for some of you. Like either it feels like okay, so this is this is what I'm trying to explain. If you have a partner and you're not entirely happy, you feel like you're being well, you're not entirely happy. You are very overworked and burdened. Um it's almost like it feels like you're getting a new partner, even if you necessarily won't it's like your relationship will spark up again like you will suddenly receive this love because you have entered your power and you have taken your power back and you have communicated your feelings and your needs and your boundaries and it is like your some of you the partner will completely step up they're like okay got it I will do this for you. I love you and I appreciate you and I'm sorry that I, for some reason, didn't make you feel that way. And for some of you, yeah, there are going to be some swaps happening. <laughs> but you will know your situation. Because I, I, I do see it like going two ways. But like the point is, the point is with this card is that it feels like you're getting a new partner. Either it's because it is completely new or because they are turning a new leaf as well. So we are, I don't know if I cleanse these or not, but once more for the luck. Um, for luck, not for the luck. Anyway, point is, um, with this card, we are going to get some final information on your current situation. Um, whatever advice or comments or reassurance they, your spirit guides may have for you. So let's see. What is your final message to my pal number one? What is it that you need them to know? What is your final message? Ooh, okay. Princess of... Oh, I thought it was a little bit too thick, so I, I checked if, was, if there was something behind it. Um, Princess of Winter. Information can... Okay, what did I just pronounce? Information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness. An indigo child or adults. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if this may have been hard for you to hear. <sighs> But yeah, <laughs> if it has been, you know, I don't know. I don't know what you should do. Maybe listen it again. Hmm? Maybe it will be easier the second time around. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. But yeah, speaking the truth with kindness. Mm. Yes. So, time to reintroduce yourself to your loved ones so you can receive this love that you've been manifesting this love and appreciation and beauty <laughs> so yeah um this is what i had for you i really hope you enjoyed if this resonated with you i would really love to know because i love reading your comments so yeah um i hope i see you in my next one bye
Hello, my beautiful pile number three. So you chose the dendritic opal and mukite jasper. Mukite, mukite. I think it's mukite. Um, number thirty-six. Yeah, that was what I I was gonna say. Ooh, okay. I already forgot. I'm gonna try because somebody requested that I would um have my camera a little bit closer to the card so that you could see them better but that's not entirely physically possible for me so I'm just gonna show them to the camera for a little bit longer and if you need to see them a little closer you can or a little longer you can pause it um, but otherwise that's, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do um, if only I remember. I've had some trouble, but I will I will definitely try. So let's get to the actual reading then. So you <laughs> you my friend, you are manifesting it all. You are manifesting love, you're manifesting money, you're manifesting a beautiful life for yourself, you're manifesting things, you're manifesting expen experiences. Not expenses. That would be terrible. Um, but, but so, okay, so this is how the reading has actually gone so far. Um, mostly I have had advice on how can you get this manifestation, how it, how it comes to you, what do you need to do to prepare what do you need to do first before this manifestation can come in? So this is actually how it's happening for you as well. For you, the message is stop playing safe. We're done with that. It's not working for you. We're done with playing safe. You need to start taking risks. There is this need for courage. And I feel like what this really comes down to is that there is, a there is an opportunity coming for you. And if that opportunity would come to you right now, you would not be ready to take it because you don't have the courage yet. You need to build the courage. And so <sighs> this is why you have to go on a little journey before you can have it all, before you can have all that you've ever dreamed of. You need to go on a journey to find your courage, to find your risk-taking abilities. So this is where this is going. And what I'm also seeing for you here, I've been waiting for this message because sometimes when I go for a walk, when I'm on a bus, I feel like it always comes when I'm in a sort of med meditative state, I guess, like when I'm on a walk and on a bus, like I just said. Uh, but I often have like different spirit guides come to me, like listen to me, there will be a pile and this is the message you need to say. And this message, it, it was a long time ago, by the way, this was like back in spring when this came in. And this is your message. And, and okay, also this might be, this is very specific to, um, well, <laughs> you will find out if this is for you. Uh, what I'm feeling here is that you need to embrace your natural beauty and especially natural hair. Uh, that could mean hair color, but uh, but what I'm seeing more like texture. So this like, what I'm seeing is like this African American, really beautiful, really curly hair. Oh my God, that is like the most beautiful hair ever in invented, <laughs> I guess. I mean, it's so gorgeous. I just, I, it's so beautiful. And like, also, like, what I really love about it, too, is that it's raw. It's strong, and it's raw, and it's beautiful and strong. I don't know what it is about, like, like, um, black women with their natural hair. It's just, it sparks this joy in me somehow, and I really hate 
how especially on like TV a lot you don't see the natural hair like I once saw I have never seen Vampire Diaries so I don't know which character this is but um, there was this woman who I saw a video of her she was like doing her hair like getting her wig off and something and she was like crying um, and she said that I wish someday I would be able to play a character that I actually look like and she was like um, talking about her hair because apparently she was never allowed to have her natural hair she always had a weave or a wig or something and I feel like that is just so incredibly incredibly sad I'm like why <coughs> why that is so beautiful anyway that is a message uh, if that resonated with you then that message for us for you I know that um, it, this um, also, uh, this could also be like natural beauty, like without makeup, for example. Uh, I do see that for some people as well. Um, like getting, uh, basically, like this is what it truly is. It's more like getting used to seeing your bare face. Um, because I feel like a lot of you have maybe some of you do like your makeup like every single day and you barely even see yourself in like your bare face like maybe only when you're sick and we all know that we look we do not look our best when we're sick so that's already like oh i look terrible without makeup but that's like right when you've woken up like everybody <laughs> everybody feels and looks terrible right after they have woken up and or when they're sick so if you like you really you really need to embrace your natural beauty and i feel like this is also like embracing your um imperfections like this okay <laughs> oh come on so <laughs> okay, so this is really stupid, but the spirit guys were like, talk about your eyebrows. I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> sure. So <laughs> this morning, this morning, I was uh, getting ready for a walk and I was like, I'm not going to do my makeup. Mm -mm. And I often, like, I'm, I'm really guilty of this. Like, often when I don't wear any makeup, I often, like put on a little something to hide redness or black under eyes or a pimple here and there or and often this is something that I almost always do I fill in my eyebrows just a little bit because I had a because my my eyebrows are like partly bald they're like really light and thin um at like the part where the eyebrows sort of come together so it looks like my eyebrows are like really far apart because they I, they are just really light and thin in the middle um so i had a microblading done um years ago and she kind of like completely transformed my eyebrows and made them like really thin they looked good uh but because i don't really pluck my eyebrows they obviously grew back in and now with the microblading it's like too thin in the parts that i explained to you like they're like there is almost like this little piece missing in my eyebrows like they they go a little bit they look like they go down from oh my god how do i explain this i don't know maybe you understand this like like where your eyebrows are supposed to like where they are the closest together it looks like there is a part missing at the at the upper um where the eyebrows oh my god this is so hard to explain but anyway I've been really insecure about that that little thing there like 
I always feel like I should at least like fill that in, like that little part in that it looks like I don't have any hair <laughs> growing in it. Um, but today I I was like, you know what? If this if this is really the the part in my face that I'm most insecure about, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> like I'm I'm pretty well off then. Like I have a tiny spot both in both of my eyebrows where it looks like there is no hair growing and it looks a little weird. And that is my biggest insecurity in my face. I'm doing pretty good. So <laughs> I don't know, maybe that helped someone. <laughs> maybe maybe someone can relate or something, but you know like I just wanna say that you're beautiful. I've never seen your face, but I already know that you're beautiful. And this is also something that somebody said to me that just came to mind. Nobody never knows just how insecure we truly are. Like when you look at somebody and you're like, my God, they are the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. They are probably, like we would never guess how insecure they tr truly would be. We have journey guide, travel, change in location. Ooh, this actually fits in really well because it could be that whatever you're trying to manifest, the biggest thing that you're manifesting, it could have something to do with your purpose, for example. It could be that it actually requires a change in location. So this is why you need to gather the courage first, for example, so that when this opportunity comes to you, you're like, Oh yeah, I can do that. I can, I can move. Yeah, I can do that. Um, yeah, I was just, hold on, I'm getting a message. It's a message about my mom. She was once in this sort of situation. Um, maybe I can tell this story really quickly. So. I will shuffle these cards in the middle. I'm like, oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, well, my mom, she always used to live in like really small towns and she'd been living in this small town for like all my, my entire life, basically. And it's a really, really tiny town. Like there are no buses because there is no need for public transport, transport, trans transportation. Anyway, and she really wanted to move into my old city, the city that I used to live in, because every time she came, she would be like, oh my god, this, this city is really, really beautiful. And she was like talking about it to her clients, like, I really want to move there, like, that would be really nice. And then, then, um, <laughs> she was like thinking about it, she wasn't like really serious about it, but then she uh, went to the city and met a friend there. And two days later, <laughs> she had an apartment there and everything. She had everything figured out and she was like, gonna move. Even though she wasn't really, she wasn't really serious about it. Not super serious. She was just like letting, like, hmm, that would be really nice. Like, it was like a dream of hers. <laughs> and then it suddenly just came true like or well it actually let's say manifested into reality like it 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 came in as a possibility so this is what is happening for you there is a i, I just need to um change the way i see it. and now we're ready so yeah this is something that is happening for you as well there's something that has to be done first there is this courage that you need to have first to build and the thing is about this courage that you are building and this power that you are taking back the thing about it is that you know we can't just manifest it we can't manifest for more courage like just envision it and it will come true it's more like there's this saying like Actually, I think it was about courage. I 
think it was, was like, if you ask God for courage, does he give you courage or does he give you a chance to be courageous? Like, I feel like that is something that is happening first. Something that you really, something you really desire. Something that you may not really quite know about yet, because I feel like this is, this is something... This is part of your purpose, and I feel like you don't quite see it yet. This is why there is this risk taking that is going to happen. Maybe it's about, maybe you want to um, build your own company. That That is very risky, you know? Um, it could be that that happens in this new location, or after traveling. Maybe you get this idea after traveling. But, um, yeah, there is something about, there are some lessons that have to be learned first. Some, some sort of experience needs to be, um, needs to happen first. So that you have what it takes to build this. We have wisdom, asking questions. Yeah, I, yeah. There is wisdom that is coming from this experience, whatever this is. And I do feel like it is kind of like you diving into yourself, diving deep into yourself, figuring out what you truly want, who you are. What do you, what do you not want in your life? What, what is something that you could say, to, say goodbye to or what you feel like you need to say goodbye to? Because there, there is a lot. That needs to go in your life. And this is how you you gain this wisdom by going on this journey. And let me tell you something. I feel like you may feel like you are behind. You're late. Like, it's too late for me. Let me tell you something. This journey that you're on, this life journey, this life you're on, this path you're on, it has been custom made to you. It has been tailored to your needs. There is nobody else on that path. How do you know if you're behind or not? Because you can't see anybody there. There are no signs available to you. You can't see where you're going. You know, you, you only know where you've been. You don't know if you should have been in this place like a week ago or maybe you're early. You have no idea. That's the point of this journey. You're not supposed to know. So stop thinking that you're late because how would you know? Like everybody's path is different because they are always custom made to their needs. Yeah. You're not late. You've never been late. In fact, I feel like you're early. Okay, we have eight of air, self-doubt, confusion, free will. Yes, makes all sense. Um, it's almost like you feel like the doors have been just closed right in your nose. And they just keep closing and closing and closing. That's because you are, um, first of all, you think you know better. <laughs> we all think we know better. Um, and you keep resisting. There's something that you keep resisting on. Like, no, 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 this is what I want. No, this is my soulmate. No, this is this is my purpose. No, it's not. If it's... If there is, like, resistance, let's say. If there is resistance that doesn't seem fulfilling to you... Okay, so this is actually... I'm gonna... Let's drop that because that will take a lot of explaining and we don't have time for that. So, scratch that. Um, you really need to tap into yourself. 
tap into yourself. This is the perfect time to. Um, I have another example of my own. I just had, I'm, I'm a university student and I just had like my fall vacation, which is like a week long vacation. And I got this really, really painful ear infection. And I'm still suffering from it, but it's a lot better. And also like I had a lot of emotional, mental healing happening. Like I've been sleeping for like 11 hours a day um, because I've, I've been just going through so much internally and physically. And I was like, okay, great that it was like right on my vacation. Like that's just fantastic. But actually, yeah, that was fantastic because I would have been dead if it had happened. If all of this would have happened while I was still, while I would have had to study for exams and and be in labs and do my homework. Oh my god, that would have been terrible. So yeah, there there is a silver lining, and I feel like the thing is that you will you will see why these things didn't work out for you you will know exactly why you just can't see it yet i just thought there is a i have a deck of cards a deck of tarot cards that have an extra card called the unknown card and that card i just saw it in my in my mind and that card represents unknown information so what it means is that there is a reason for what is happening but it can't be revealed to you just yet you will know later when it's time and then you will see why it didn't work that is the gist of the card and i feel like that is also happening for you as well um, we have 10 of earth prosperity security tradition mm-hmm yeah, this is definitely happening for you. Like I said, you've been... <laughs> oh my god, that is so cute. Like the dog with the ball and the ball has fallen. Oh my god, I love these little details. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I think I made a mistake in my old, old pile. It's fine. It maybe it wasn't because you know, because I I I told them that may, they might be getting a pet, but I actually think that you might be getting a pet. I mean, it's not wrong. It's just two of the same, very specific messages in two paths, but that's fine. Um, you will be getting everything that you wanted, but it really requires. A lot of work it requires getting rid of this aid of air here this all of this self-doubt and confusion of, and and feeling of being stuck you need to let go all of that they don't belong here you need to tap into your own power and remind yourself of who you are and I feel like embracing the natural you as well so if you've been you can just work you can just um start with like maybe uh, wearing a little bit less makeup rather than like going completely cold turkey because that can be really hard but then again once you get used to it <laughs> you have no idea how much mascara <laughs> weights on your lashes like I remember I had an in eye infection I couldn't wear eye makeup for like three weeks and when I then wore mascara oh my god it weighted a ton <laughs> I don't know, there's just this, there is something happening here. It's almost like you will be transforming in such a way that when you look at your past self, when you look at your old pictures of the ver of the version that you are now, when you take a look at the clothes that you used to wear, you're like, oh my god. Oh my god, was that me? Like, who was I trying to be? Because that's not ain't it. Um, we also have Page of Water. Sensitive, open-hearted, intuitive. Beautiful. Yeah, I think this is what is happening for you. You are 
diving deep, finding out who you are and what you want from this life. I feel like you are a little bit confused with like what is your purpose, what is your destiny. And this is why your uh, manifestation is a little bit uh, open, it feels like. You've been just manifesting like a lot of different things, like in a very general way. Like, I want some more money, I want some love. <laughs> but not like specific things they're just like this they're a little bit open-ended i guess but yeah to get whatever you have manifested oh is your manifestation actually like figuring out what is your purpose is that one of your um manifestations finding your purpose something that you wanted to find out but you haven't for a very long time yeah uh whatever this is by the way <sighs> Okay, hold on. Let me go back, go back. So, after you have um, embraced who you truly are on the inside, you will be ready to take risks. You will be... Um, mm -hmm. You will actually realize your purpose when you realize who you truly are. And what I feel here... Also, oh, I oh, <laughs> just got it. God, I've been so dumb. Okay. So the thing about you is that your purpose is not just one thing. Your purpose is many little things. Because I just heard, uh, who the hell said it? I don't know, maybe, no. I don't remember who said it, but they said like, those people who know exactly what they want to be, they will become that. And that is their curse. Or no, that is their punishment. <laughs> but for you, you you have a lot of different dreams. Maybe you want to write a book. Maybe you want to be an actress. Maybe you want to be a singer. Maybe you want to be an artist. Maybe you want to be a teacher. Maybe you want to be a dancer. Maybe you want to do something with your hands. Or maybe you want to create content. Or maybe you want to build things. I feel like you have a lot of different desires, different things that excite you. And I feel like that is the thing here. You're not meant to be just one thing. You're meant to do it all. And that is what requires courage and travel and change in location. I think that's the trick here. And all of these like different things, like they are part of your purpose. Let's say that you want to have a like a like a daily job, but then you have all of these side hustles that kind of bring you money on their own without it's i feel like it's, i think it was passive income that it was called anyway i feel like that is actually going to take take you here to the ten of earth to prosperity security and all of this like you can have fun like that what allows you to have fun i do feel like you will have a daily job that you will absolutely love. And I feel like it might have something to do with helping other pe people in any way. Uh, it doesn't have to though. But I feel like these side hustles are what really bring you prosperity and security and allow you to have fun and do fun things and travel and do whatever you always wanted to do. Oop. Okay, we have King of Earth prosperous generous successful yes 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 absolutely and i feel oh oh, oh i thought <laughs> i thought he was holding bread but it was it's actually a pentacle um or a coin or whatever they are um yes mm -hmm. prosperous generous successful that is who you are going to become but it does require a lot of inner work and with a pitch of weight, uh, water, I also see like you're really in tune with your feelings as well. Like you are, you know exactly who you are. And also like you own up to things a lot. Like, like let's say you have a bad day and you say things you don't mean. Next day you're definitely like, 
to the person like I am so sorry like I have no idea what came out came into me like that was you really did not deserve that and people really appreciate that about you um but yeah let's get the final card then so this card is a message from your spirit guides advice on your current circumstance um, whatever message they have, advice, um, reassurance, whatever message they may have. Oh, okay, they are giving it to you right now. So, we have, oh my god, we have three cards. Fine, let's take three, that's okay. Three of spring. Plan your next steps with the eye to, to the long term. Have patience. There is more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm just seeing a lot of different things, but they were not what I expected them to be. So, Ace of Spring. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams amazing career opportunities yeah 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 so there are a lot of opportunities showing themselves to you and as they do come up you need to be ready to go ahead and take them you need to be ready to pursue them and that is why you need to start working on yourself right now work on that confidence that self-confidence and self-love <sighs> find all of that within yourself so that when this when these beautiful opportunities show themselves to you you won't hesitate you won't hesitate. You'll just like, yeah, I'll just make this work. I can make this work. No worries. I can do this. This is what I've been dreaming of. Well, this is one of the things I've been dreaming of. And it's finally here. Definitely I'm going to do it. So the last card, five of summer. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others. Focusing on what frightens or worries you. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. So these are all the messages that I had for you. I really hope you enjoyed. If uh, you resonated at all with these messages, I would love to know whether you did or did not. I love to read your comments. So yeah, I hope I see you in my next one. Bye.